Hello friends, welcome back to CAD Practice. Today we are going to construct a 3D model of screw in Autodesk Inventor software. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now take a 2D sketch, select the front plane. So this will be the XY plane. Now go to line command. First we will make a rough sketch. So from the center point, make one line. And we are making the another line here. Taper profile, one line here, and a vertical line. Skip. Now go to dimension. So this will be the short line. Here the dimension will be of 5 mm. And this dimension is 60 mm. Okay. So here also, from the center point, the dimension will be 5 mm. The height here will be of 4 mm and the angle will be of 20 degree. Okay. Now go to R command, select this point and select this point. Now go to dimension, give this arc a radius of 10 12 mm and here the height will define as 10 mm. Okay. Now this is a fully defined sketch, here you can see fully constrained. Now finish sketch and go to revolve command, select this for axis of rotation and press ok. Now rotate it, now we will make the thread profile. So first here we will give the radius, select this edge, go to fillet, take a fillet radius of 2 mm. And OK. Now we will construct a new plane here. So go to plane, rotate the view, and we will select this radius profile. OK. Now select this plane, go to create sketch, rotate the view. Now go to project geometry and project this edge after the radius. OK. Now finish sketch. Now we will make the uh, coil profile. So from here we will select the 3D sketch and we will take helical curve. In helical curve we will switch this to pitch and height. The diameter will be of 8 mm and here we will select this green point for this plane we will select this plane and select this red line ok click here now we will define this so the height will be of 45 mm ok and dia we have already defined as 8 mm and the pitch will be of 4 mm so this will be the profile now it will ask you it will be anti-clockwise or clockwise so you can select here and ok ok now finish sketch now we will make the thread profile for thread profile we have to make a, a new profile to sweep so here go to plane so we will construct a new plane at the starting point of the helical coil select this point and select the coil the plane is been developed now select this plane go to create sketch now here, go to project geometry once again, rotate the view, now select this starting point, so it are, a new point will be projected, go to back view, now go to line command, from this starting point, make a straight line and here and join till here. So we are making a triangle profile for thread. Go to dimension. So this dimension here will be of 1.5 and this will be also 1.5. Okay. Now go to horizontal constraint. Select this point and here select this midpoint. Okay. Now this is constrained or go to dimension. Define this also 1.5. 
escape. Now finish sketch. Go to sweep command. Here we will take this profile to sweep. And for path selection, we will select this helical curve. Okay, now you can see the thread profile over here and press OK. Okay, so this profile will be made. Now go to home, select work plane 2 and work plane 1, right click and turn off this visibility. Similarly, select sketch 2, turn off its visibility. Now we uh, want to complete this thread profile. So to complete this thread profile, now go to 2D sketch, select this face. So we'll complete this profile. So go to project geometry, project this profile, this triangle, select the bottom. Okay. So it will be, appearance will be quite straight. Go to line command, make a line profile. Escape. Select this. Now go to project geometry. Project this outer profile. Escape. Go to parallel constraint. Select this line and select this. So it will be parallel to this projected geometry. Go to view, visual style, change it to wireframe. Now you can see the line. Now go to sketch. Go to dimension. From here, the dimension will be of 6 mm. Escape. Select both the lines, first and second. Make them construction geometry. Now go to 3D model. Take revolve. So we will revolve this triangular profile. Okay. So the axis of rotation will be this. Now we don't want full. So go to angle. And here we will change the angle to. 180. Okay. Go to view, visual style, change it to shaded with edges and press OK. Okay. So this thread will come till here. Similarly, we will do for next profile. So select this face, go to create sketch. Now go to line command, make a line profile over here. Escape. Go to back view. Now go to view visual style, change it to wireframe. Now go to sketch project geometry, project this. Go to dimension. So this dimension here will be of 6 mm. Escape. Select both the lines. So select first this and select this. Make them construction. Go to project geometry and project this triangle. Go to 3D model, revolve. So we'll revolve this profile. So for axis, we'll select this new line, and here we'll change the angle, and the angle will be 180 degree. And okay. Go to view, visual style, shaded with edges. So this will be the profile. Home. Now go to part 1. We will make this cut profile for mounting of the screw. Go to part 3. From here go to 3D model and we will construct a new plane. Go to plane, take offset from plane, select this face and here we will take a distance of minus 6 mm. Ok, rotate the profile. So it will be outside this profile and ok. Select this plane, go to create sketch. Select this outer circle, make it project geometry, escape. Select this profile, make it a construction profile. So it will be for reference. From here we will select two point rectangle. Make a two point rectangle over here. Go to dimension, width of 6 mm and here height of 2 mm. Go to coincident, select this center point and select this center. Now go to circular pattern. So here we will select circular pattern. Select this profile, go to axis and select this axis. 
here we will take a count of 4 and ok. Now go to 3D model, extrude, select this complete profile, ok. Here we will take a depth of 3 mm, so this will be 3, go to more, here we will take a taper angle of 5 degree, go to shape, now change it to cut, flip the direction, ok. So this red profile will be the cut profile and press ok, ok. So this will be the profile, rotate the view, so this will look like this. Now select this plane 3, right click, turn off the visibility. From here press O, so here we will select opal color, here it is opal color, ok. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a 3D drawing or a 3D model of a screw in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.